Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Joe. Today I'd actually like to invite you to join me on a tour to the cactus and succulent greenhouses of the Palmengarten, the Palm Garden in Frankfurt. It's a fantastic replica of a forest in Madagascar with all the euphorbias from Madagascar, the pachypodiums, adeniums, amazing. An entire forest of succulents. Here's the main door. It's the dry tropical zones. Come on, let's go. This is the entrance hall with a couple of succulent plants planted out here. Some very large Pachypodium lamerais. In flower, actually. This is quite interesting. This area, which connects all the different greenhouses, actually has a nighttime temperature that's on the left of 15 degrees, a transitional temperature of 15 degrees C, and a daytime temperature of 15 degrees C. So, as you can see, it's a constant, constantly held 15 degrees C climate in here. And, uh, there's a bunch of pachypodiums, euphorbia millies, stapelias. Deidreae. There's gasterias here, awarthias. So it's quite a collection of different representatives or species representing different parts of the succulent plant kingdom. Wow, there's an amazing cycad here. This is the so-called Zululand cycad, Encephalartos ferox.
Again, the signs in English and in German. A series of aloes here. This one called Aloe Grey Teddy. Euphorbia canariensis from the Canary Islands. This is a wonderful euphorbia. I actually have one. I grow one in my greenhouse. Quite a bit smaller than these, but it's a wonderful euphorbia. There's Senecios here, Senecio articulatus. A quite large Euphorbia cooperi. I'm just standing back to give you an idea of the size of this plant. Pretty impressive. And there's there's a uh, Aloe marlothi in the background. the thorn bush forests. This is where they've got the main collection of Madagascar succulents. So the dry areas, forest areas of Madagascar. And of course, pachypodiums, huge, huge pachypodiums. These are about four, almost five meter high trees. Euphorbias. Euphorbia perrieri. Of course, Euphorbia milli. Here you go, there's a real forest of Euphorbias, Pachypodiums. Here's a giant Euphorbia abyssinica. He's going to run up the main stem of this Euphorbia. It just keeps going and going and going. And it reaches all the way up to the top of the greenhouse. So this one must be about eight meters in height. Amazing. This bush, or tree actually, is a Euphorbia grandidens.
there's a whole section here on codex plants so water storing organs here is a Gera, Geradantus lobatus amazing there's an adenia species in the middle there and I swing around here there is a huge adenia fruticosa that in the background that is the codex the water storing part of the plant and if I just move out to give you an idea of how large this plant is this is the whole plant from the distance and uh, just zooming back in again just to give you an idea of the uh, trunk and these are the leaves then there's adenias adenia globosa over there in the background and adenia spinosa another massive codex plant let me just try and zoom in to show you there's the storage water storage part of the plant and if I move over to these other adenias here they're a bit hidden but there you go and there's more codex plants in the background there let me see if I can find a few more there is the Gerardantus lobatus again with its vines coming out at the top of the codex Adenia globosa, massive codex hidden behind the vines or shoots of the plant. They're actually quite thorny to protect the plant. The history of Frankfurt's Palm Garden, the Palmengarten, goes back to 1869 when the main park was actually opened as a privately owned uh, flower park and also in 1869 is when the main palm house, which is what we're seeing here, was actually constructed. And of course it was a sensation at the time because it was housing all these exotic plants that no one here in Frankfurt had actually seen anywhere before. So palm trees and all kinds of tropical plants were brought to this large greenhouse, as I say, constructed in 1869. Let's move over to the savanna and dry forest house next door. Very pleasant atmosphere here. They've got a waterfall installed.
There are some huge Pereschia plants growing here. No flowers that I can see at the moment, but certainly these have the size. These are the size of trees, and again, spines associated with leaves. The Palmengarten is actually one of three botanical gardens located in the city of Frankfurt. Frankfurt is actually a huge metropolitan area and uh, it's a financial center, it's a transport and logistics center, uh, the one of the largest airports of Europe actually at Frankfurt. Uh, the They've got a pretty large outdoor cactus and succulent area as well, which uh, houses loads and loads of uh, cacti, uh, mainly during the months of May to September, which is when you can actually, here in our climate in Germany, grow cacti outside. So all these plants actually will be moved back indoors for the winter months where we've got frost and then they're planted, arranged nicely outside for the visitors of the Palmengarten for the summer months. Soreus peruvianus, forma monstrosus. Not open to the public, but we can actually uh, have a peek inside are these areas where 
they have reference collections of cacti and other succulents and it's the most amazing collection of plants assembled here and uh, they've got some extra lighting there to give them optimal conditions and uh, anything from parodias, gymnocalitiums, you know, all echinocereuses. There's an incredible selection of wonderful cacti and other succulents here. These are scientifically incredibly valuable collections of plants. As the head gardener was uh, telling me earlier as well, there are unfortunately a lot of plants that are either close to extinction or have already basically become extinct and uh, they can only still be found growing in botanical gardens around the world and so you know the incredible importance of these botanical gardens as refugiums if you like of uh, many of our precious cactus and succulent plants Just looking at that massive collection of copia poas in the background there. Don't know if you can actually recognize them, but it is mind boggling the amount of species being grown here. Oh, look at that huge gruzoni. And it just goes on and on and on. I'm sitting here in the shade of this wonderful aloe dichotoma and basically that concludes today's tour, a tour of the Frankfurt Palm Garden, the Palmengarten. I hope you actually enjoyed this tour and uh, if you did then as always I'd really appreciate if you actually just hit the like button. Uh, perhaps send me a comment and of course if you're also so inclined then just hit the subscribe button as I say that's it for today take care and happy growing